Hello everyone, welcome again in this uh, follow-up video for battery simulation uh, series. On this video, we will use a pulse load to discharge our rechargeable battery. By using pulse load uh, technique, we will prolong uh, the battery lifetime. So let's start it. Okay, uh, so first let's uh, add a battery which is our source of energy and the battery the nominal voltage let's set it for 12 volt and rated capacitance let's go for 1 amp hour for our testing okay and then in order to take out the measurement from the battery we need to use a scope and this scope with three inputs okay uh, then in order to connect the scope to the battery we need a bus selector okay and this sorry this bus selector we have to connect it to here then from here we can read the three measurement which is the state of charge battery current and battery voltage these two signals we can just remove it okay now we connect our scope to here okay now we need the load uh, for the load we use a parallel uh, RLC branch okay and for the load we need to use a resistive load R with a resistance of 400 ohm okay so first of all let's connect directly the resistor to the battery let's see the characteristics first uh, sorry let's mm, okay no problem so let's go for layout we choose three measurements so we can see all the details yes okay so first of all we directly connect the load we we'll continuously connect the load to the battery as we can see here we can see that the battery can last up to about 0.3 multiplied by 10 to the power of 5 okay so now when we connect a pulse generator to con to, to, to trigger the load trigger the load to the battery then we expand we expect that the battery lifetime will be uh, prolonged so first we need ideal switch okay and the ideal switch for the snapper resistor we need it to be infinity so we will not drain our battery then no need measurement okay now we open the circuit and we use the battery and uh, sorry we use the the switch to connect the load and we use a pulse generator to trigger the load on and off uh, let's go for a period of one second so every one second will be connecting the load and let's see now so this is our old measurement whereby when was the load was directly connected to the battery so now when we run again let's see the improvement and we can see that the kind now is pulsing pulsing like this because of the switch okay so now we can see that the battery can last almost double double of the nominal lifetime before that was about 0.3 now 0.6 and all that because of the switching we can see here the current actually is switching not continuously draining the current from the battery okay so even further can prolong the battery lifetime by uh, increasing the period let's say if we go to two second 
now the battery even will be improved or the battery lifetime will be improved further okay just now was about 0.6 so now about 1.2 multiplied by the 10 to the power of 5 so by using this technique we can uh, prove that a continuously draining the battery is very bad idea especially when we talk about the embedded system that's why we most of the time we set our devices to go for the sleep mode so in this sleep mode we can save the, the battery uh, charge for example here we can see this is the sleep mode and it will be paused to connect our to connect the load to the battery so it can do the function of the embedded system and read the temperature transmit the data or whatever the functionality of the load then it will go to sleep again to prolong the, the battery lifetime in a state of continuously discharging the battery so thank you very much for for for, for watching and this is the end of our tutorial today thank you and see you again in our next video